in Mendham is sort of irrelevant. No, he's completely irrelevant. What words in Mendham speaks, the sentences he puts together, the description he states is what we are, replication for the sake of replication. If a philosophy is not going to be applied as a prescription, if it isn't going to have useful function in describing of a prescription, if it isn't going to be the substance of prescription, then there's no point in doing philosophy. It doesn't have any meaning. The truth has value because it allows you to do things. It creates and facilitates doing in the world. It doesn't have any value if you're not going to do anything with the information. If you're not going to make more knowledge out of it or you're not going to make more action out of it, there's absolutely no point in having it. You don't like life. Why don't you just kill yourself? Well, because it's too simplistic. It's a dumb solution. It doesn't fix the problem. It fixes the problem for one individual and does nothing to prevent the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. That is unintelligence. Solutions that fix 1% of a problem or 0.000000000001% of a problem aren't very substantive as solutions. They're weak, impotent as solutions. We're talking about something profoundly meaningful to the people who understand what's at stake. We're talking about billions of sentient creatures, the welfare of them, in the balance. So much more harm if action doesn't take place. Back to the deer analogy, or the whale analogy, or any other animal exploited by man. Are they better off extinct? If I could harm the ones that exist now and annihilate them, would I not be their, their Gandhi, their, their savior, in the sense that I could prevent decades or even hundreds of years of servitude, of slavery, of abuse? Come on. There can be civility, but it's not going to exist as long as the rhetoric, this veiled cheapening of other people's fundamental beliefs, as simplistic or manipulative or depressed psychology or cult manipulation. If that's going to be your rhetoric, the visceral anger is going to be unleashed. Too much is at stake to tolerate negotiations under those circumstances. You can imagine yourself negotiating with Adolf Hitler. You can go back in history and you've got 10 minutes of conversation with Adolf Hitler. 10 minutes to get through to him, to explain something to him, to change who he is and what he thinks. And yes, you can say, I want to do this with incredible discipline. But you know that it's not going to take much coming out of his stupid mouth that's just going to make you want to whack the fucker. All these people dumping in this gratuitous manner. I mean, it is gratuitous. The last year, all there's been is cult, depressive manipulation, why don't you just kill yourself, obnoxious trivializing of the philosophy. The defense is, no, you've got to deal with the argument presented here, and it's a complete argument. It's been extensively thought through and presented and argued and defended and so it's not just some ball of hate sitting there. There are hundreds of hours of disciplined explanation of the philosophy. And that's the truth of it. It's there. It's on the table. And that's what's being defended. The fact that the conversation is there. Pose difficult questions to engage um, in these you know, elephant in the room, as you say, kind of things. And to that extent, I would agree. Um, so now in defense of Mintam, you know, personally, I would just highlight that I think it's fair to say that Mintam has been one of the most systematically abusive YouTubers 
Isn't that interesting? So in Mendem is the systematically abusive, like there's a system and a method to the madness, that it's somehow a manipulation again, and that somehow if we go back to the record and we go back and look at the history, that somehow that's what in Mendem was looking for, and, and that was somehow in Mendem's agenda. And I think that's just a disgusting and ugly lie. In Mendham was having long discussions about brains and psychology with the modern mystic and, and uh, you know, Matt. And, and that's what in Mendham came on YouTube to do. And then people came to him, all right, with the drama and the crap and the bullshit. And because in Mendham fought back, because in Mendham gave back what people brought to him, he's the guilty one. Because now I have the reputation, and that's all that matters. If you have the reputation and you use the simple language, yeah, that's all you are, is some gorilla, some monster. But if you veil the insults in, 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 in pretty language, somehow that's okay. It's our interaction between me and you demonstrate. You came to me with the shit, fella. I didn't show up at your house and say, what a dumb motherfucker this guy is. No. He can be very cruel. I just wish that, that people that are his fans, if you will, would kind of speak out against this. Why don't you quote it? Why don't you demonstrate it? Why don't you put some of this together? Again, it's, it, this is just so unfair, in my opinion, to create these fake victims. And I'm saying they're fake victims. They are. You can't show me some person who didn't ask for it. And that's just not fair, buddy.